What about the two? Well, I think basically people around the country uh, know about the Southwest Conference. They immediately think that probably the University of Texas and Arkansas are the winningest teams in that conference. That's not true. In the last six year period, since the Houston team has been in the Southwest Conference, they have won the conference championship on three occasions. They have won more games than anybody else in the Southwest Conference over that six year span of time. So please join me in welcoming our 13th head coach, Tom Herman. What we're doing right now is, is a bit of a, a culture change. It's not so much X's and O's. In fact, what we're doing is we're instilling a culture of toughness and accountability. We're always gonna be talented. Uh, as Coach Yeoman said, you can swing a dead cat in the city of Houston by the tail and probably hit 10 Division I prospects. We're always gonna have some talented athletes uh, from the greater Houston area and then obviously the great state of Texas. Uh, but what we need to take that next step is that culture of toughness and accountability. And I'm not just talking about toughness of uh, playing hurt and hitting hard. I'm talking about being mentally and spiritually tough so that when things get difficult, uh, we know how to respond. Hi, I'm Andre Wick. Let me tell you about my Heisman. My Heisman was a gunslinger. The entire field was a red zone. It shattered records and broke down barriers. My Heisman's proud to be a cougar. Everybody wants to go someplace uh, that has won or knows how to win. The cherry on top certainly was my experience at winning the national championship with Ohio State. And so it just, it feels good to know that your head coach and your staff don't just say they're going to win. They know how to win and they've done it. And it's, it turns from theory to testimony. You know, everybody can say, oh, we're going to do this. Well, guess what? I've done this. There's a big difference. There's a big difference. You're a football fan. You love football. You know, this team is, 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 is focused about the city of Houston. I mean, it took some time to get used to Houston football again, you know? It took me a while to realize that, you know, if I'm going to support a Houston team, let's get over there and let's see what these guys can do. It's about the culture change and the level of buy-in uh, from our current players. And I, I was a little bit nervous, I, I've got to be honest with you, about what I was walking into. It, But um, the buy-in has been off the charts. There, there's no pushback. There's no uh, anti-establishment guys. There's no negativity as far as uh, what we're trying to accomplish. It's a testament to the culture of the entire athletic department, a testament to the culture here of the University of Houston. Uh, they yearn for discipline. They, they yearn to be pushed. They do their job of buying into what we're, we're selling them. And right now, uh, we've got them. They're, they're bought in, hook, line, and sinker. And they want to push. They want to be excellent. They want to be great. They want to be elite. And they want to be champions. We established the vision and we, we established the culture. And there's had been a, a buildup of, of belief and a buildup of buy-in to the, to the vision and the culture and the, and the roadmap that we had given them that if as long as they stayed the course, that anything and everything was possible. And so I, I don't know that the, the underdog role was, was really that challenging for us. To, to get in this stadium and get this stadium rocking and, and get the students uh, back in that student section packed and, and get the stadium and, and the city of Houston excited about this season.